Good afternoon and welcome to Ustream's Black Widow Fetish Channel. Today's guest is Miss Anna LaFortune, a local Washington DC dominatrix and fetish model. You will see her frequently at events from Boston all the way to Tampa. She has been involved in the scene for a number of years. She's regarded as highly competent, highly professional, and very skilled at what she does. Today's event is an interview where we can discuss her philosophy and her thoughts on domination, submission, BDSM, and the fetish world. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So let's start by talking about your overall philosophy as a dom. Frequently, I hear submissives when asked, what do you like? will say anything that you do. What is your response to that? Well, I'll repeat the question because I want to know what they like. And for me, it's important to get a bond, to create a bond as quickly as possible. There's a difference between a pro dom and one that's just having fun or might keep submissives for their own entertainment is that ours is non-sexual. So I have to create some other form of intimacy. So that means by pulling them in. So when they say they just want to serve, really deep down inside, there's something in them that they need to have served. So I will repeat it and tell them, this time I want the answer. Okay. They and, give it to me. And that, that makes very good sense. Um, so once they open up and they ask or they tell you, this is what I truly love. Do you ever find that it is different than what they may have alluded to when they first met you? Do they become more honest when you, when you pose it that way? Absolutely. You, like I said, you have a, just the period to create that, that intimacy, that bond. And so you want to kind of get down to what's really important. So when you are asking them questions, what I like to do is I created a list for them and I will go back over that list with them. And as I'm reading out the type of fetishes that they enjoy, I watch the responses. I see, I look for their breathing to change. Um, even their, sometimes their eyes watch the, them dilate so I can see what really arouses them. You can start to tell when they're kind of drifting off if it's something that's not interesting for them. And part of this is using the things that they like and don't like at 